you know what? What a top morning. The weather's meant to be alright until probably tomorrow night. Should we go to the lakes? Come on, let's go and book it. <laughs> Book tickets. Nope. Preston. Right. So Windermere for today, leaving it set. 12 and then return tomorrow uh, 15th and come back about 1 so it trends that's still me woohoo Right, so that one there, 12.46. Fucking bastard. So that and that. Click on continue. And there, and then we'll book that. So that's the tickets booked. So quarter to one. So I've, it's now, what time is it? Got another cat coming. It's now 22.10. So I need to catch your bus at 20 to 12. So I have two hours. So let's go. Walking poles, I've got my trekking tip pole tent. I, I believe there's plenty of space on this one to pitch a tent. So I just need some food. I've got a steak in fridge, I'll take that. Uh, I'm just charging my electricals. Um, yeah, tickets are booked. So let's uh, let's get in cold pool. Yeah, come on. Right, folks. I'm uh, there's no. I don't think there's a, there's any way for me to swim when I'm in lakes this time. So let's get it cold pool. I've just done my meditation, breath work. Let's do it. Yes. Right. Let's get in. Set with timer. Six minutes. Here we go. Ready.
we go. You ready? See you in six minutes. water done stretches so let's go and get him into the hiking gear and get gone bush right all set lovely and sunny i'm all packed everything's sorted buses are half past so let's crack on see you in lakes well 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 peoples <laughs> welcome back to the channel this is was a last minute little thing sun's out it was glorious i woke up this morning book train it half past eight something like that uh, for, for quarter, half twelve so I'm back in I am back here in the lakes um, gonna head up on a on up a little fell up here I'll uh, reveal all later on um, just just come off the major highway there the bus dropped me off there So I've just come from the road down at bottom there. Yeah. Steep little bloody climb that way. Loved it. Just starting to sit down here over the distance. That's the road I came from. Up right past the uh, Grassmere, Hambleside and Windermere. Got Hell Valley over there. Wow. Raven Raven Crag in the distance behind the tree. Beautiful absolutely awesome little couple of pitches here as well a bit slanted but wow that'd be decent just here looking out yeah but we're carrying on Yeah, baby. What an absolutely awesome little climb that was. A little bit of scrambling, not too high. I absolutely love that. I wouldn't like to go down it, but the path I'm going this way is more gradual. So I'm going to keep going up onto the top of there, a place called High Rig. We'll do a wild camp. But meantime, just this is absolutely epic. Uh, Got uh, about an hour's left of uh, 
sunlight so plenty of time to get up there get the tent up i've got some wicked food tonight i've got um i've got a sirloin steak and what i'm going to do with it i've marinated it in uh, thai spices thai sauces i'm going to pan fry it and i've got some salad and a couple of wraps i know the wraps aren't uh usual thing to eat with a thai beef salad but hey when in rome and all that <laughs> so people i'm going to crack on get up to the top of high rig and uh also we've got that drone so i'll get that out in soon and uh we'll have a look at the landscape around here uh, all i'm looking at there straight ahead there that one there blink afra what a beast that is anyway let's get going woohoo don't do that stupid noise, Craig. All right. <sighs> yeah, right, folks. Right. Not quite where I wanted to be, but it doesn't matter because this is absolutely awesome. So let's have a look. So I'm just going to pitch here, just on the edge of this ridge. I'm looking out over Thelmere, Helvellyn. Going round, you got Raven Crag going round there on this top one here, Skiddo, and just behind there is Blen Cafra. So I'm going to chuck the tent up here. I'm losing light, so I'm going to try and catch that uh, sunset. Then, folks, yeah, man, what an epic little pitch this is! Absolutely buzzing with this one. Really good walk that was well. Nice little scramble to start with, and then I've, got, I've come off track a little bit, so I'll have to go down tomorrow and, and back up over the tops. But it's a gradual walk back down to the road, so absolutely fantastic, brilliant. So I've just got my pan on here, and I've got some steak. Uh, sirloin steak there that's been marinated in uh, um, let me let me let me think some Thai soy sauce some fish sauce some uh, rice vinegar lime juice uh, chili powder and, and brown sugar so you've got all the flavors going on that's proper Thai original Thai shit that so I've got some coconut oil 
to cook in. I'm just getting the pan warm. Um, yeah, and I've got some nice, uh, uh, and I've got some nice salad and some wraps over there. So, yeah, all good. I just hope I've enough um, memory on this phone because I'm going to have to do the filming of the cooking on the phone. Uh, but we'll sort it. Yeah, ma'am, steak's cooking nicely. You can see there, look at that over there. Oh yeah, so that steak's looking lovely, so I'm just going to um, give that a few more minutes and I'll, I'll put it on plate, rest it, and put them juices back in from the steak, and then um, reduce the sauce down, put the salad in, cut all the meat up, oh yes baby! Reduce down a bit, put that lovely sauce there, put that all over the salad. Let's have a taste. <laughs> Just right. You don't want. I don't like um, sirloin too uh, too pink. It's a bit chewy. You just need it a bit a bit more um, a bit more overdone. Yeah, I think I think sirloin just um, it goes a bit chewy if you if it's undercooked. It's my preference anyway. Yeah, but that's uh, look at that there. Uh, And then just finish it off with them juices. How does that look? Thai beef salad. Yeah, not that, can you? Not bad that, folks. Look at that.
Those up for you. Oh yeah. That's what we're talking about. Nice big chunks of sirloin steak. It melts in your mouth. Fresh salad. You get that um the sweetness from the from the brown sugar. There's a hint of bitterness from the and salt from the fish sauce. Absolutely gorgeous. A little bit of tanginess from the, the lime juice. Mm. And with a fresh salad. That is good. On the top of a hill. Having a Thai beef salad. Absolute bang on. I'll show you around after. This is just epic. But in the meantime... I'm going to eat this because this is good. <laughs> yeah, oh man, I'm living here. Take it easy, people. All right, well, that tea was absolutely <coughs> bang on, man. So I'm going to get my cellar brew on and then just do some uh, some half work around, just get this, these pans cleaned up, um, get everything away, and then I'm going to get in the tent and yeah, brew. And I've got some nice scones, best butter. Yes, I know how to live me. So, I'll not, sh I'll not film this because obviously you've seen me make a, you, you've seen me make a brew many a time. So I'll speak to you in the tent. We'll do a little Jack and Tentanori, not a big one tonight. Um, and I've definitely slept on a, a slope, put the pitched on a slope. So I'm going to be ending up down there somewhere. <laughs> Anyway, I had some wraps as well, but I, it, that, that was just nice on its own. I didn't need anything else. So, yeah, let's get some, uh, let's get a brew on. Crack a rocker, a rocker, a rocker, roll in. Guess what I've got as well. Hey, remember that? <laughs> that was funny. That I've watched it back many a time. It makes me laugh. That I hope it made you laugh. If you haven't seen it, watch the, watch the previous video. <laughs> Classic. Right, let's crack on. <laughs> I'm going to say it now.
Now then, folks, hope you can hear me. Cozy is out. I've got the uh, Montane jacket, ice jacket back out. Worm is out this, proper down jacket this. So, yeah, I'm toasty. Just been watching Moon and Stars. Just chilling with doors home. It's not too, it's quite mild actually. Toes are a little bit of cow, but they'll soon wear them up. I'll put me, uh, my little down booties on. Aye. Tentenori. Should we have a little in? I don't know what I'm going to say on it, but we'll go. Tentenori. Tell us a story. Tentenori. Tell us a story. <laughs> I really got a story to tell you, to be honest. Aye. They really much happened. What a good Tentenori this is. <laughs> oh, what a great little walk this is. Love it. I went off track a little bit. There was a little tide up there. Oh, could have got some water from that. Instead of carrying it all up. But not to worry. Aye. So. Upcoming things. I, bunk, I booked a bunkhouse. Uh, up at Lakes, as always, and there's, there's between seven and eight, eight and ten of us, so that's going to be monstrous, so I'll, I'll obviously do a, a vlog on it, we've got it for three nights, so, um, paid for two though, so most people are coming up on the, on the Friday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and going home Sunday, there's a couple of us going up on the on the Thursday night. Uh, I'll have to go up obviously to get keys and stuff. But I think me and Sean and possibly Mark are gonna clear off and do a wild camp on the Thursday night. So that'll be a completely different vlog. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that'll be different. And then back to the bunkhouse on Friday morning and then uh, welcome everyone on the Friday evening. I'm gonna make a, a Texas Texas chili. Using proper chuck steak, cook it for about three hours. Yeah, uh, probably go and do a walk on on the uh, Saturday. There's a couple of good hikers out, so they they'll be probably doing a big walk. Uh, there's a pub not far. Uh, Keswick, it's about half an hour drive if that. I'm also going to set guitar up. Uh, Bob's going; he's a good singer, uh, so we might get a bit of a jam going. I'll have to be careful, I'll get copyrighted though, but somewhat different. So yeah, bit of Tentenori, bit of Bob Dylan and uh Yeah. <laughs> eagles, what about yeah, some eagles. Put some put some comments at the bottom. Tell me what um what songs you want us to sing up at the uh up the up at the bunkhouse. Obviously I'll take it the guitar, give me a chance to uh to get the chords down, get some strumming patterns done. So yeah, don't worry. I haven't really got out, out funny to tell you this time. So that's really it. So I'm gonna leave you with some uh, some nice moon footage, and uh, hopefully I'll do some hyperlapse into the story. So hopefully that's worked out. If you don't see any in the morning, it's not worked out. Uh, obviously in the morning, obviously after the, in this vlog. I'm mumbling. Why do I end up mumbling? <laughs> I'm sorry for yeah. I'm not gonna no. Shut up, shut up, Craig. Right, go and check the stars out. Jesus, leave you to it. See you morning. Morning people, how we doing? Yeah man, not a bad sleep, not brilliant. Uh, this shoulder's giving me jip and I'm definitely on the slant. I kept sliding right down into the bottom at 10, but it's not a problem. All's good. 
So a bit low on water, so no brew this morning. I'm just going to start um, uh, striking camp. Um, so yeah, um, not about one and a half mile walk back that, down to the um, to the bus stop um, over over the actual high rig where I wanted to camp, but this was lovely little pitch. So absolutely brilliant. So let's see what uh, today has in store for us. Absolutely brilliant. Speak to you in a bit, peeps. Morning again, peeps. Uh, just been nodding. <sighs> Proper toasty. Uh, right, I better make a move on. Alright, so let's get dressed and I'm gonna show you outside. Alright. Oh. I had some mad dreams last night. Woohoo! <laughs> right, come on, sort yourself out, Craig. Speak to you in a bit. Well, people, it's a bit brisk out here. It's, it's nothing uh, too bad though. Just a bit of wind. Wind chills a bit cold. Yeah, beautiful views over Thelmere. Helvellyn Range there. Awesome. That I said last night. That was um, Skyfells. Norway Skyfells. Skyfells kind of like that direction. So I don't know what they are. I'll have to do some research on them. But yeah, I'm no professional. <laughs> I'm learning but yeah absolutely brilliant so uh, I'm gonna get this tent down and then uh, we've got a head and that that little path there up over the top of that, that that's um, high rig that's where I was gonna camp um, and then it just drops down gradually into the valley and then it takes you back down the road so and then we'll pick up the road that'll take us back down so good fantastic so let's get this to i've packed everything up in my rucksack it's going to get the tent down i'll tell you what sure it's i've got me uh my leggings on but uh it's time to get the uh winter pants on i've just ordered some actually so some uh, race revolution pants uh just think it's time to say goodbye to the shorts, which does my head in. I love, I love wearing shorts, but yeah, man. So, new winter pants coming. Um, yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit, right, folks. We're all packed up. Just gonna get this down jacket off. I'm gonna put my waterproof on. There's a bit of moisture here, probably don't need it, but it'll just take that chill off. So, but it's a first chance to wear my new jacket. My new waterproof. So I'll just slap that in there. As you do. Yeah man, awesome little pitch this. I've really enjoyed it. So that's that. Get that punched up. Sorted. So yeah, this is uh my new rain jacket. That red one was a bit uh bit defunct, it's light enough and that but so this is the uh Patagonia 3L torrent shell. Yeah, a bit of Patagonia going on in my life. So, a bit bright, but yeah, it's all about me, man. So, yeah, I'm looking yellow mellow. Are you can you the mellow? I've even got yellow gloves. <laughs> What's all this about? <laughs> right, so, usual. Leave no trace, all that rubbish. It's all checked, done. So we're gonna get off this mountain. I'm gonna speak to you back when I get to, uh, speak to you back. I'm not gonna speak to you back, I'm gonna speak to you front. But what I am gonna do is speak to you when I get to uh, the top of High Rig. Um, I was gonna get the drone out, but it's uh, it's a bit miserable. So yeah, I'll speak to you then, people.
just come down that there so a good thing to do when you're uh, descending is uh, extend your um, trekking poles uh, make them quite large so you've got a lot more leverage to come down on most people already know that but I just thought I'd share it with you <laughs> right got across this wall now and head up, head up there brilliant rock and roll it's like a bit of a bog fest now so he's uh he's for hoping I'm gonna get up that path there what's all this here mm. A dead sheep. Yeah. Just to bless it. Dead sheep there. Mm, bless it. Well, back to the universe. Christmas tree there. Should come back in Christmas and decorate it. Put some baubles on it and that. <laughs> That'd have freaked people out, wouldn't it? What was on in my head? <laughs> Cross that there. I weren't filming it. I'm not making myself look a prat. And my Christmas tree's still there. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. What's going on in Craig's head? Right. Let's assess what's happening now. Because that's the way I crag. But I just wonder if there's a path off this way. So I'm going to check my map. According to OS maps, there's a path here, but there's not. So I'm just going to go back and go it tops like I were planning. I was just being lazy, I think. So I'm going to have to walk back now. <laughs> so it didn't work after all. All right, folks. I just, uh, I just trying to cheat. <laughs> Not coming up that hill, going through them bloody that uh, bracken. Uh, I think all I'm thinking about is going down. That's the problem. I'm all right going up. Right, anyway, that there is um, the top of High Rig. So while I'm at, while I'm here, I'm gonna put my rucksack here and just go up there and uh, have a look. Cause I can't come all this way and not actually go up and tap out on a wane right, can I? Even though I'm not a, as. Uh, Dave says, I'm not a blagger. <laughs> so I'll go up there. You can't really see much, it's clagged in. Top of a high rig, another Wayne ride done. Not that I'm interested. Not that you can see, but some views are shite. But, and it does look like there was a path down there, skipping all this out, but I suppose. Yeah, I'm just not liking that uh, that marsh down there. I think you scoot round it there. Anyway, enough of that. Now I can see that would have been an absolutely belting spot. Where my bag is there, it would have been an absolutely belting spot to camp or there. Uh, out, it, out it shade there. So yeah, it wasn't far, but light were against me. So shut up, carry on. See you in a bit. So I've just filtered a litre of water, nice and clear that, look at that, beautiful. I've just come from up there to the path there, stunning. Right folks, that's another one wrapped up. I'm just back down on the path now, about half a mile to go just down to the uh, to the main road, bus stop. Absolutely loved that one. That was way up there. Um, I think it helped with obviously my fitness. The Scotland trip has, has brought me on leaps and bounds, um, especially going up there, uh, up the climb at the other side. I loved it. Um, still a bit precarious, Precorious, precarious, precorious, 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 
I'm going to make some pakoras now. Anyway, precarious coming down. <laughs> what I goes on in my head? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, crackers! Anyway, yeah, so still a bit precarious coming down the descent, but a lot better. I just love that little climb. That the the whole the whole route was brilliant. Uh, as I said, it camped quite where I wanted to, but there's always another time because I've identified quite a few little pitches up there. So you know, a couple of months. There you go. So people, I hope you like that one. I bloody loved it. Uh, yeah, I hope you're uh, you know seeing seeing how I progress really. Because that's what the, the journey's about, um, you know, and showing that how far I've come. And if you put your mind to it, you can do the same. I'm not saying it's about camping or walking or it's whatever you do in life. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. So I'm not going to blab on too much on that rubbish. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you can see the progress. Um, please get some comments uh, in, in the in the in the description below. It's, it's really appreciated. People write stuff on Facebook, you know, saying brilliant, brilliant and all that. But it don't get picked up. So if you can put it on, rather than the Facebook, rather put it on the uh, YouTube channel. It really does help it. So, with that in mind, I hope you enjoyed it. We've got to the end now. As always, if you haven't, give us a like. If you haven't already, a subscribe. And get that notification bell ringing. Ding a ling a ling linger. <laughs> so, people, as always, it's been a pleasure and I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and as always, mates and peoples, and yep, life. Yeah, grab it by that fucking neck. But remember, smile and life will smile back. <laughs>